The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Well, this is disturbing. Uh, real or fake? Don't know. But uh, I do want y'all to uh, go to the blog and listen to the whole video. Um, and you can read this again slowly on for yourself. But this is quite disturbing. Uh, real or fake? I don't know. But I'm going to be quite assuredly uh, y'all tell y'all this. This is true. Yeah. Some of us were in deep shit. I will tell you a little story. I went to the doctor a few, uh, about a year and a half ago. And uh, went to the doctor, and I had a little problem with a leg and from swelling up and stuff. And he ran a bunch of tests and come back and says, "Well, it's a genetic disease. I was born with it. Didn't turn up till I was 49 years old, but uh, still, I come up with it." Well. We'd had a little discussion about it and we talked about it a little bit. And point I'm trying to make is when it all come down to the bottom bottom line, he says, "Well, he said there's one thing I can give you." And I says, "Well, okay, Doc, what's that?" He says, "Well, I can give you this pill that'll make you forget about it." And I says. What did you say? He says, well, I can give you a pill and it'll make you forget about it. I says, well, Doc, if it'll make me forget about that, will it make me forget who I am, too? And he didn't really say anything about that. And I says, well, Doc, just give me a little bit more information on this. He pretty much, he'd, we'd already done a little bit of talking about the the new uh, uh, health care bill. And he was a little bit forward. And I says, and what does this do now to you? Really? It really makes you forget? Uh, you don't want this pill. So, my point of it is this. I can't tell you whether this is true or whether it ain't true. But I can tell you this. What I just told you the doctor told me was true. Because the doctor did tell me, I can give you a pill that you can forget about it. Won't bother you no more. Well, it still bothers me. Because I didn't take no damn pill. But folks, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're in deep shit. I mean, this is just getting worse and worse all the time. And then you got, <clears throat> then you got this. Um, I, I just, you know, I don't, I don't get it. So, basically, we're, we're not allowed to, they don't want, they want to change it, so we're not allowed to defend ourselves. Who's going to defend us? Them? For real? They're going to defend us? For real? Well, don't look like to me they've been doing such a good job here lately. I mean, my gas is killing me. Taxes is killing me. My house ain't worth nothing no more. Um, the value of my property has dropped I don't know about y'all but I'm going to give you a little story 
Um, I spent my parents passed away a few years back and uh, they left me a little inheritance and I spent $60,000 on that house to remodel it. This was just before Obama took over and the bottom fell out. The bottom fell out while I was in the middle of built remodeling this house. Well, I was halfway through it then. I had no other choice but to finish it because it was already, you know, tore apart. You got to put it back together. So I put the house back together, put it on the market for what it was worth. Well, make a long story short, um, I didn't sell it. And I hadn't been able to sell it, not for what it's worth, nowhere close. Well, I've been hearing this big story about all the houses that's been being sold. What they ne neglected to tell everybody is, is that they're selling those houses for nothing. See out there in the neighborhood where this house is, they built some brand new houses. They tore down some and put brand new ones in their place. Well, they were selling for about a hundred and thirty, hundred thirty-eight thousand dollars. Well, the realtor called me, or I know a realtor, and I called them today because I was going to try to move this house because. I need to. Um, things are getting rough, and I really need to get rid of this house. And I originally wanted to sell it for 140, because I spent sixty thousand dollars on this house. Okay. Well, the realtor calls me this afternoon after I called her earlier today, and she runs some background on it and uh, find out what the market was pulling in that area. And she told me that those brand new houses that they built out there in that neighborhood, now, I'm talking about within a block of my house, which is 500 feet away. They sold those houses for forty-eight and $50,000. Now I'm trying to sell a house and you know I spent 60 grand on this house. Well, think about that. I spent 60 to make it presentable to sell. And then me not living there, someone stole their condition out of it. Outside unit. Now my point of it is, is this, people. What in the fucking hell are we going to do now? We're building stuff and giving it away? Is that what we're supposed to do? To make the government happy? I mean, really, folks. How damn far are you people going to allow shit to happen to you and keep on going? I'm talking $50,000 for a $150,000, $140,000 home. Brand fucking new. I'm talking brand new people. They had just finished building the house. They sold it for $50,000. Hell, I spent that. I spent 60 remodeling. It wasn't nothing extravagant either. It was a new carpet. I rebuilt the kitchen you know, tile kitchen floor, um, I remodeled the bathrooms a little bit, I mean, you know, what the fuck, I mean, come on, I can't get, I can give the house away, and you know what my tax roll, now listen to this, my tax roll on this house is $98,000, that's what I'm paying taxes on. 
and I'm not living there, so I can't homestead it. So it's nineteen hundred dollars a month. I mean, a year. So, what in the hell, folks? What in the hell? Are y'all going to allow all this shit to just keep on happening to y'all? I mean, really. Are you just going to keep on allowing this? Then they trying to turn all of this crap right here into a racial war? I mean, you know, they're going to turn this into a racial war. First off... You know, I don't get it. Why would you want to do that? I mean, I don't get it. We're all human beings. It don't matter what color, what race, or what anything you are. We're all the same. We're all men. We're all women. It doesn't matter the color of our skin. Unless you're one of these people, like this clown. This clown right here, the one that keeps moving around. See him moving around here? This little floating clown. So, y'all think about this now. What are we going to do? Are we going to keep and allow the stuff to just keep on happening to us? Well, if we just keep allowing it to happen to us, then maybe then this right here will be, you know, exactly what y'all want. You know, give everybody a pill and then everybody will think the same way. Ain't that wonderful? Only only ones that won't think the same way is the, the mighty rich. They'll be the ones in control of you. You can live like a slave. And you won't even know it. Ain't that wonderful? Come on, ain't that wonderful? You can live like a slave... Work your ass off all of your life. And when it comes time to have your inheritance or you have your retirement money, it really ain't yours. It belongs to somebody else. You pay more taxes than you should. Way more. Your gasoline costs you $8 a gallon. Because we all know it's going there. Hell, it ain't come down. It's going up. It makes you think it's going to come down. And it goes up higher. Comes down for a day or two. And then goes up a couple of cents higher. And then it comes back down to the price that it was. And then it goes up a couple of cents higher. And then it comes back down to the price that it was the, the time before. All because they won't take it off the stock market. And put a cap limit on it. Like they did back in the 70's. What's wrong with doing that? Why don't you people wake the fuck up. And start preaching it. You know, that's what they done. And Bush took it off. We can't afford houses at the prices that they are. Automobiles, $30,000. Come on, give me a break. And the 70s are worth $4,000. But $35,000 for a car? Who the hell can afford a brand new car anymore? Oh, it's just a payment. Really? Just a payment? Just go out there and buy you another brand new car for $40,000, okay? Hell, I can buy a house for $40,000, but your cars are $40,000? How the hell are you people walking around and paying your bills? You got to be some of the elite, or you're making a hundred grand a year, and your wife's making a hundred grand a year. That's the only way you can do that. But you're spending every bit of that money that you're making on bills. Every bit of it. If you both make 100000 a year, you're spending it all on bills because you know that you're not going to live and you're not going to have that kind of money coming in and you don't go credit yourself up to the hill. You're going to go spend it all out. You ain't going to worry about buying you something that you can live in and a car that you can drive. Oh, hell no. You're going to go out and buy the brand new one. The brand fucking new one. That's what you're going to do. You're going to buy that brand fucking new one. And you're going to go out and build you a brand new fucking house. But no, that brand new house ain't... That, that, 
that old junk one that's down the street down there that needs a little bit of fixing up. Oh, I don't know how to do none of that. I ain't going to worry about none of that. Oh, hell no. Let them tear that piece of shit down. Get it out of the neighborhood. It's the way y'all think. It's okay when you got the money. But you ain't going to have the money much longer. Because that gas is going to keep going up. And they're going to keep giving your money away. And as long as they're giving it away, you just get broker. You think you're making good money. Hell no, you ain't making good money. Hell, I thought I made good money. Hell, when I was making $14 an hour, I lived better than I do now. That's $14 an hour. Okay? What about those people out there making $7 an hour? Hell, they can't go back and forth to work without having someone to help them, like their mom, their dad, or uh, a boyfriend, or a girlfriend, or something. So, what are y'all going to do? Yeah, I know, this video will probably be turning to shit, and I'll get all kind of bad reviews. And, you know, the hell with it. I don't give a flying fuck no more. I asked for donations. I got one. And I'm still thanking that person. I've asked for a bunch. I mean, I asked for a donation. Not a bunch. Just to help out. I know y'all can't afford it. But since I'll even put it up there. I should have put it up there when everybody was a... <coughs> still had a little money, huh? But that's just like everything else. I snooze and I lose. Tried to make some money on my house, my parents' house, and I lost it. Lost it all. Well, I didn't lose it all. Well, let me rephrase that. I ain't lost it yet. If I can get at least 50000 for it, I ain't lost it all. Just $20,000. By the time I pay all the closing costs and pay the taxes and stuff like that. You get my point? I might come out with forty thousand dollars and I put sixty probably I probably put sixty eight in it. I ain't counting all them little you know, paying people and uh some of the things that I couldn't do, which wasn't a lot, but there were some things I couldn't do. That it was cheaper to have somebody else do because I didn't have the time to do. Because I was working on something else. And I needed to get it done before the market really fell out. <laughs> but it still fell out on me. Didn't matter. Banks wouldn't loan no money for two years. I took it off the market. It wasn't no sense. I could still get the money if the people had the money. But they didn't have, they couldn't borrow the money because the banks wouldn't loan it. Now the banks are loaning, but not on the value of the house. Only fifty thousand dollars, at the very most, of my, on my house. So we're gonna come back to this video that you see in this little clip right here. And when you get here, I played. I'm gonna have a little clip in the back of just one part that I want you to listen to. If it's true, folks, we're in deep shit. It says. Real or fake, I don't know. But if it is real, God help us all. And I really mean that. God help us all. The supreme whoever you are, help us. Because, damn, we need it. And all of y'all that are awake... You know, you really need to help people push the message. You really need to help. You need to personally email it if you have to. Get the message out. I'm going to let you listen to the clip and then I'll say goodnight to y'all at the other side. Part of the brain that's associated with with disgust or displeasure on hearing something, 
Uh, so you're suggesting I take a CT scan with me when I'm uh, evaluating people to determine whether I put a <coughs> bullet in their head? So, so um, the, the data that I'm presenting here uh, supports uh, the, the concept that, that we're proposing. Uh, and I think that uh, we would not propose to do uh, CT scans or fMRIs on, on individuals out in the hinterlands of, of Afghanistan. The virus would immunize against this VMAT2 gene, and that would, would have the effect that you see here, which is it's essentially to turn a fanatic into a, a, a normal person. And we think that will have major effects in the Middle East. Well, good night, folks. I hope you heard the guy say, well, what are we supposed to do? Take a CT scan and put a bullet in her head? And you heard his response. Whether this is true or not, I don't know. But just in the way it was said, it's scary as holy hell. And if you don't think it ain't scary, you know, I watched a video of somebody scaring a girl and she ran out in front of a car the other day. Scared the shit out of me. I was just watching a video. Broke my heart the same way. Don't know whether that's true or not either. It said it was true. It said there was a police report, but I don't know. Much love to y'all. Heads up. And God bless y'all. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.